welcome back with another episode of Pass. Our topic for today is Youth Mental Health. With us, we have Dr. Dulmini Pereira, who is a clinical child and an adolescent psychologist. We thought she would be the perfect person to explain and educate us on the current state of youth mental health. Good morning, Doctor. Very good morning to you. So, Doctor, can you please give us a little introduction about the field we are going to talk today? What is mental health? And relative to the development of the modern world, how important would you say youth mental health is? Yes, mental health or youth mental health is essential. I can say the well-being of a human being, uh, mental health is a, a major component, right? So without mental health, you may be having your physical health, but without mental health, you can't do anything. So you get uh, moved off or moved out, you won't be able to continue your day-to-day -day work. Yeah, so what we can say, what is mental health? Mental health is emotional, psychological, and social well-being. So if I can just describe what is emotional, you get uh, plenty of emotions. You get uh, uh, happiness, right? You get uh, aggressive or you get sad, right? There are many. So if you have good emotions, positive emotions with you, and you are empowering day-to-day -day life, yes, it is one component. And the next is psychological well-being. What is psychological well-being? You can say like your thoughts, simply. Simplify it's your thoughts, right? Your thoughts will be positive, right? If it is going to be positive, emotions, good emotions, positive emotions, and positive thoughts, and then combined with that, you are going to go to the society, right? Maybe to your school or to your working place, and you have uh, positive emotions and the positive thoughts, and the same way it comes social well-being because you are happy you are uh, you are enjoying and your thoughts and everything is you're fit enough to work right so we can say mental health is emotional psychological and uh, social well-being with mental health uh, what, to, what are some of the major factors that affect the mental health of young uh, generation today uh, who can get affected by the mental diseases and uh, are there any barriers to certain factors or do they all apply in the same manner? Uh, yes, obviously this is a very important and the essential things we're supposed to talk these days. Why? Because our youth is for us like uh, the very important component, our youth. So why they get depressed or why they get impairment of their mental health exactly they do not know what is happening among me or with me right first thing if you really wanted to have a good mental health or if you wanted to uh, have a, a pleasant day-to-day uh, -day lifestyle uh, i can say like lack of creative thinking or critical thinking right uh, lacking part it is a major part because what is critical thinking? What is good and bad? Why am I doing this? You know exactly what is good and bad. That's why you do bad things in a hidden manner, right? So critical thinking. The other thing is uh, lack of time management. I can say poor time management, right? If you have good time management within you, you have ample time to think you don't have time to think because you're packed with your whatever the schedule and you don't have time to think about it think about you or think about others these components four five components are together right so it's if you're going to break one so all will collapse so, so uh, third one is emotional content we can say the young generation has poor emotional quantity. What is emotional quantity? You really don't understand who am I and then again you really don't worry about others. 
you can understand others feeling right for an example we don't think about uh, at the age of 18 or 17 what i supposed to do for me for my parents for my home and for my school right so what kind of a duty is i supposed to do or make people happy make myself happy so eq is very important so i can say poor eq uh, quotient and then again uh, youth has unnecessary stress it's not unnecessary stress right i can say it's chronic stress but i can use that for all it's a chronic stress like when you go adult adult you are, you must be having really you know financial problems and so and so but then uh, you has unnecessary stress right so what is unnecessary stress they don't have creative thinking or uh, critical thinking and then don't they don't have time frame poor time management they don't have eq so all together comes what unnecessary stress right for an example i can say you will uh, get your phone and uh, use your phone phone is there for you to use right all sort of a digital equipments are there for you to use it doesn't matter but if you really don't know the time frame how far you supposed to uh, use that you call for unnecessary stress why end of the day you will go to bed and you will call for yourself saying not your mom or dad or teacher you call for yourself ha so and so or do many you didn't do anything you are useless right you are bad you are not whatever so you will complain to yourself which is very uh it is very bad and you don't you will lose your confidence you will lose your many things related to so i can see this unnecessary stress so then again um i can say um, uh, oh yes all four component together is you are like using um, you are like tending to uh, mental disorders like uh, i must say this first thing you have mental problems and you have mental diseases so i mean you has mental problems right you have a problem where you can't get any uh, answer for that keep on you are doing keep on thinking about it you don't get any answer that uh, cause you for a longer period you are keeping that in your mind there is no answer that cause you mental diseases so that's how i can explain that So, doctor, when we are mentally ill, uh, it can get a bit hard of to focus on good side of things, and uh, we end up losing sight uh, what's important uh, to be happy and content. Uh, exactly how important is it to maintain a good health, good mental health, uh, especially as a young person that has uh, many possibilities? Yeah, obviously, I mentioned where you're going to lose your mental health. There, from we can start. if you really plan up yourself right as a child maybe you are in grade 1 2 3 4 5 years from 5 if you are planning up your schedule you can plan up it's not a time table as like school gives you no it's a small time table the time line then you can balance nowadays children are doing maybe youth adolescents are doing things you do one thing only you do that thing right you are not going to balance it so if you're going to balance your timeline if you have a time plan you can have fun with friends you can have your music or you can listen to music you can uh, and without fail you can do your studies as well right and you should know how to give your uh, priorities how to line up your priorities like other than that so it is going to be very stressful place first thing is at your home because a grade 1 to grade 13 you are being given time period to as a human being to learn how to live in this world it's not education only for paper education or maybe subject education for grade 1 to grade 13 or 14 you will be learning right you are going to be a dad and you are going to learn how i am going to survive this how i have to find my bread and butter 
right? How am I going to live in this world? And you'll be learning that. So in that period, if you're going to do something else, right? If you're going to do something else, and what will happen? So you'll be losing a lot of things, right? So mom wants to see like sitting, uh, maybe after six o'clock or seven o'clock, you're sitting in a one place and getting your books and reading or whatever. So she wants to, but then again, you'll be in the uh, very uh, common thing is you'll be with your phone or maybe your computer. So then what will happen? Yes, obviously. So unnecessary stress you will occur. So you have to reduce that. And what I said, you have to plan yourself. But this is really sufficient enough for you, your mind and your uh, mindset. Whatever the education you have right now in your mind, it is really sufficient enough for you to understand. Right? What is good, what is bad. And you to think uh, critically, if I don't study uh, maybe grade 1 to grade 18, if I don't study, what will happen? So your mom or dad or teacher or whoever shouldn't come and enlighten you saying that if you fail this and this will happen, right? You have mindset to think, okay, what I'm going to do next after my schooling, right? How I'm going to survive myself, right? It is important for you to sit and think about how I'm going to lead my life, right? Maybe you're, you can be in grade one, two, three, four, five. Parenting is a good part of this. They have to really give them guidelines and a good parenting for you to understand the situation. And then again, mostly most of the youth, uh, they don't have good relationship with uh, family, right? They have a good relationship with among the youth or among friends or adolescents, but they don't have good relationship with the parents. Why? See, they always think like, okay, we are parents or teachers are like controlling ourselves, like they're going to stop our freedom. They're going to give barriers for us, right? So if you really want to, to overcome this, to happy and um, to have a, a reduce your stress is very important and plan yourself. The more important thing is you have to empower, enrich your emotional content, right? When you're at home, okay, so you don't study. A thinking like that, mom's duty is cooking. Mom's duty is a uh, sweeping, right? Certain household things or earning is dad's thing, right? And you have some kind of a duty at home too, right? You, you just, if you have emotional content with empowering with your emotional content, you will worry about others. You will think about others. You go and see your mom, mom, can I help you, right? And you have a good relationship with your environment environment is really important to have a maintain a good mental health so emotional quantum yes then you'll be really happy I have a part to do at home as well I have part to do, part to do at school as well right to my society to my sister or a brother right to my friends so emotional content is yes you have to uh, highly empower that part then you can be uh, stress uh, you can reduce your stress as well as you can have a you can maintain a good mental health one way to achieve a stress-free life is to be with the people we love and people that love us just the way we are so doctor talking about this there might be someone around us that is going through a bad hard time how can we in a way be to help them Okay, well, so first and fourth, you have to admit or accommodate uh, right now how you are and who you are, what exactly happened to me. Yes, you have to admit that, right? So admitting that, the make you understand saying, okay, uh, am I finding happiness through materials or feelings, right? Emotions are always feelings, so if you are going to find uh, love or uh, happiness through materials, it's going to be very difficult. So therefore, 
if you feel like if you are in a, a maybe depression or anxiety or severe a problem where you can really uh, find solution for it please go to a, a medical doctor or a psychiatrist or your family doctor if you have a mental problem please accommodate with a clinical psychologist or a qualified psychological counselor where they really can help you because people think like uh, if you go to go and see a psychiatrist it's going to be a uh, uh, mental discarded or you know you have uh, given them a very uh, bad black mark no it is not that you can say the schizophrenia is uh, a 2000 uh, a severe damage we can it can happen to our brain but there are 1199 other diseases are where daily you get uh, physically you get the cold cough fever like a simple stuff where you can get something and some kind of or something and you can get cure and same time same thing a uh, simple depression anxiety and things if you can have a uh, medication and some counseling and psychotherapy yes you can uh, 100% it is curable and uh, yeah so you can lead them and uh, find a correct person correct doctor to go and have that problem and same time if the friends or a youth accept them as it is like it, it can be a failure maybe exam fail or a break up or whatever so admit that it has happened to me so next what i supposed to do i should not worry about that thinking about that we don't want to be in that okay it has happened okay can be wrong next time i'm not going to do that so you have to get up and run right so for that the medi medi uh, medication and the psychotherapy will uh, help you a lot thank you ma'am uh, and i'm pretty sure your words affected the com- large community and uh, we'll hope to see you all thank you